The craziest part about this whole thing is that this is a school counselor. When you're 12 years old, you're like, I feel like I'm in the wrong body. And that's fine. Like, that's how you feel. And then if you continue that lifestyle, then that's your life. But my job as an adult and a human being is to respect the choices other people make. Shouldn't we be able to define what it means to be born in the wrong body? Well, we can define what it means to be in the wrong body. Okay, what is that? What does it mean? I feel like I'm in the wrong body. That's what it means. Example, I think children are extremely naive, and I think children will listen to the adults around them. You know, 10-year-olds engage in magical thinking, right? Absolutely. I'm a school counselor. That's my job. I literally do this professionally. Have you changed since you were 10 years old? Absolutely. Did you learn some things since you were 10? I would hope so. So probably the way you think when you're 15 is a lot different than 10. Your morals and your identity, those things for me haven't changed. Well, when I was and 10 years old, I believe Santa Claus came down my chimney and put presents under the tree. Right, because children believe in magic thinking. All right, y'all. We're going to go back and go through this video clip by clip and systematically dismantle her horrific and dangerous arguments. And this is another reason why if you have school age kids, if you're a grandparent, I keep trying to encourage all y'all to the best of your ability, as much as you are able to get your kids out of the public school system. This mindset, this ideology is only increasing and is only growing. So unless you really truly have your kids prepared for the onslaught that they'll face, whether it be from their teachers, from the peer pressure of those around them, their, the other students, Odds are they will not be prepared to deal with this nonsense. When you're 12 years old, you're like, I feel like I'm in the wrong body. And that's fine. Like, that's how you feel. And then if you continue that lifestyle, then that's your life. But my job as an adult and a human being is to respect the choices other people make. Now, immediately, we can see the flaws in her statement. A 12-year-old, you're talking about a little kid, 10, 12 years old. And honestly, that's not even, that's not even necessarily the argument in many situations. You have kids younger nowadays who are making claims as to who they are, as to believing that they're in the wrong body. If you listen to what Joe Biden said uh, prior to the 2020 election, a woman got up and spoke about her child. I believe they were eight years old or somewhere around there. And, there, and she said that she had transgender children, eight years old, saying that that's what, that should be okay. That should be allowed. Other nonsense, y'all. We're about to jump into the portion of just what can we trust coming from a child. That's probably the most important point here. Be able to define what it means to be born in the wrong body. Well, we can define what it means to be in the wrong body. Okay, what is that? What does it mean? I feel like I'm in the wrong body. That's what it means. Example, I think children are extremely naive and I think children will listen to the adults around them. Out of her own mouth, she says she thinks children are extremely naive and they'll believe what's being said around them, especially by the adults. So with that little bit of knowledge in and of itself, that should be enough to just destroy the entire concept of ch transgender children. Children will go along with their parents. Now, as they get, as we get older, we will start to formulate more of our own ideas as we mature. But during those young and impressionable years, we need to be extremely careful as to life altering decisions that are made by our young people. Extremely careful with that. Carol's engaged in magical thinking, right? Absolutely. I'm a school counselor. That's my job. I literally do this professionally. Have you changed since you were 10 years old? Absolutely. Did you learn some things since you were 10? I would hope so. So probably the way you think when you're 15 is a lot different than 10. Your morals and your identity, those things for me haven't changed. I really hope that she's just trying to remain consistent and justify her perspective. But to believe that your morals... And that who you are as, I mean, I don't even know how old she is, but she's a school counselor. At the youngest, she's in her mid, mid twenties, I would assume. To say that you're, that you haven't changed much from when you were 10 or 15 years old is nonsense. Guarantee you I've changed considerably. And basically everyone listening to me has had a dramatic life transformation over the decades or over the years, depending on how old you are. I know I'm far from the guy I was when I was a teenager. She's trying to predict where this argument is going. And she understands that if she says, well, if, if a kid overall changes who they are, then that doesn't justify them transitioning or transitioning. But at the same time, I'm pretty sure she wasn't in a culture when she was 10, 15 years old, where there was a massive push to promote transgenderism, telling kids that they're born in a different body. Because if that was the case, if, if she was in that world, who knows how she could have been influenced from that? Let's be honest. Well, when I was and 10 years what, old, I believe Santa Claus came down my chimney and put presents under the tree. Right, because children believe in magic thinking. Children are extremely naive, and I think children will 
listen to the adults around them. I'm a school counselor. One more needs to be said, y'all. Children believe in magical thinking. Children are extremely naive. That should be the end of the conversation. What a kid says doesn't ring true 100% of the time. I remember when I spent the time with my boys and I told him, finally I told one of my boys that there was no such thing as Santa Claus. I remember him getting real sad and him looking looking at me and saying, no, I'll never get any presents. And then I remember my mom just started cracking up laughing and his brother started laughing at him. He was nine going on 10, if I recall correctly, and he was still believing in Santa Claus. His mom was okay with that. But I wanted to make sure that he lived in a rational world and he understood things reasonably. I believe there's no difference when you compare that to a child believing that they're that they're trapped in the wrong body. Your environment, what you see on social media, what you hear on TV can be extremely influential to a young, impressionable mind. So we ought to be extremely, extremely careful. Before you go, make sure you check out this video right here. I think you'll find it very helpful.